Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Wednesday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time. A couple of feast days today. Uh, Pope St. Sixtus, uh, hang on, let me see what number, I think the second, stand by. Yes, Sixtus the second and companions. There are, I believe, four deacons in the church. He was the, uh, the Bishop of Rome at the time. He was uh, caught celebrating Holy Mass. And, uh, in, of course, in those days, uh, the Emperor Valerian, uh, very active persecutions in the church. Uh, so the church was basically underground they were found and uh, executed the same day uh, altogether the four deacons and the the bishop of rome pope saint sixtus the second also today the feast of saint cajetan i think that's the pronunciation c a j e t a n cajetan he was born in 1480 studied law at padua and after he was ordained a priest, he founded the Congregation of Clerks Regular at Rome to foster the church's mission. He extended his this congregation into the district of Venice and into the kingdom of Naples. It's funny that back in those days, Italy wasn't really a country. Italy was a group of kingdoms, uh, each little region of Italy uh, having their own specific government and uh, even language, customs, food. You go to different parts of Italy and you know, you're going to get different uh, dietary uh, offerings, uh, which is lovely. Even today, each region of Italy, although they're united as one country now, uh, still maintain their, their identity. And it's kind of cool to go to the different parts of Italy and, and see the differences from one to the other. Anyway, uh, so he uh, founded this congregation of clerks, clerks regular. He was uh, uh, a very earnest person of prayer and love of neighbor, and he died in 1547. So um, just a saintly person, not a martyr, uh, anything like that, but uh, uh, a... Uh, founded an, an order that uh, furthered the uh, mission of the church and uh, so we have the those saints today saint sixtus the pope sixtus the second the four deacons that were martyred with him and saint cajetan today on this uh, multiple uh, day uh, feast day in the church our readings today our gospel reading um, is uh, ah, I remember now the story of the the Canaanite woman who according to the apostles was pestering Jesus Jesus help me my daughter is possessed by a demon wasn't asking for anything for herself, but she was a concerned mother in asking Jesus for his help in this matter. Not a Jew, but a Canaanite woman. And in the early ministry of Jesus, he was first there for the lost sheep of Israel. And that's basically is what he's saying today, that he's, you know, he's still focusing on on uh, the Jewish people, and but she she persisted. She persisted, and then um, Jesus made a comment that uh, um, you know it, it sounds a little harsh, a little gruff, saying that I I can't. It's not right to to throw the food of the children to the dogs. But then she comes back with. Uh, uh, a very eloquent response. Sir, even the dogs eat the scraps from their master's table that fall from the master's table. 
And at that, he blessed her for her faith and her persistence. You know, I guess the lesson for us is never give up. Never give up. If we're really earnestly praying for something, don't quit. Don't stop praying. Allow God's will to be done in his time, and it will be. And the, God always answers prayers. Maybe it doesn't seem like it's because well, it's not the answer we are hoping for or we're looking for, but he does answer all prayer. So never give up in your persistence in your prayer. You know, don't don't throw up your arms and say, "Oh, God, don't care. God, don't love me. I'm done. I'm out of here." Uh, that's just you know not not at the uh, the way to do it. And this woman today shows us that when we are persistent and when we demonstrate this, see, that's an unwavering faith, even in the face of of failure, in the face of, well, this isn't working, you know, just keep trying. Keep knocking at the door. And Jesus did, you know, reward her for her faith and her persistence and cured her daughter. So this very familiar reading today that we hear in our as our gospel, you know, it teaches us this lesson to to not give up, to to persevere and to be, you know, vigilant in our prayer. And trust. Trust that God does answer prayers. You know, he's either going to say, sure, I got you, no worries, and we get what we expect. Or he'll say, patience, your prayer will be answered when it needs to be answered. So we have to exercise patience sometimes too. And then the other answer he gives sometimes is, this is what you're asking for, but this is really what you need. This is really what I need to do for you. So God has a, a different, better idea to answer your prayer. And then when you receive that answer, recognize it. You know, when you see something happening and it's, you know, not what you were expecting, just know that God works in your life always, whether you feel it or not. God's always with you, always. And he always hears your prayers, and he always answers your prayers. So be persistent. Don't give up. Keep the faith, like this woman in the gospel today. You know, Jesus, in the, and in the, in the first reading, too, from Jeremiah, you know, we see these people that have done a lot of good things and good work, and they've been busy. But then, wait, they're not done. There's more. you got to do a little more. You know, it, you, you, you thought you'd, you'd, you did a good job, but it's not time to rest yet. yet. There's more to do. So, as it is with us. What's the old saying? There's no rest for the weary. Well, let's pray that we don't get weary. Let's pray that we get the, uh, the grace we need from God to, to keep going to keep praying, to keep hoping and keep trusting so that uh, you know we can better serve our Lord and better serve one another with energy, vitality, peace, and grace. So we pray our evening prayer today. We thank God for the, uh, the work of the saints that we celebrate today, St. Sixtus and Companions and St. Cajetan. And we ask that on their feast day they continue to inspire us and intercede for us in our lives and help us on our journey as God helped you on yours. So we pray our evening prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down, as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be my rest, be at rest my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men in illusion, placed in the scales. They rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power and to you, Lord, love and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> Lord God, <coughs> you reward each one according to his works. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, seeking your grace and secure protection. We look to you for our stable hope in a constantly changing world. Eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. May God turn his radiant face toward us and fill us with his blessing. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us, so will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us so that we, make, we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. May God turn his radiant face toward us and fill us with his blessings. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him, he is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. To the elders among you, I, a fellow elder, a witness of Christ's sufferings, and sharer in the glory that is to be revealed, make this appeal. God's flock is in your midst. Give it a shepherd's care. Watch over it willingly as God would have you do. Not under constraint and not for shameful profit either, but generously. Be examples to the flock, not lording it over those assigned to you, so that when the chief shepherd appears, you will win for yourselves the unfading crown of glory. This is a man who loved his brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a man who loved his brethren and never prayed for them. He spent himself in their service and never prayed for them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loved his brethren, brethren and ever prayed for them. This is a faithful and wise steward. The Lord entrusted the care of his household to him so that he might give them their portion of food at the proper season. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children, forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is a faithful and wise steward. The Lord entrusted the care of his household to him, so that he might give them their portion of food at the proper season. Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise. For he was appointed high priest among men and their representative before God. We honor him, and in our weakness we pray. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You marvelously illuminated your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You forgave the sins of your people when their holy leaders, like Moses, sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your people with the same Spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. So we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, 
You helped St. Cajetan to imitate the apostolic way of life. You also guided St. Sixtus II in much the same way. By their example and prayers, may we trust in you always and be faithful in seeking your kingdom. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone. And uh, what do you say we pray that we're allowed and able to do this tomorrow? That's my prayer. Uh, see you tomorrow, I hope. God bless.